welcome to science tree channel and here we go with alkyl radicals it's all about organic chemistry from class 10th chapter number 11 we are all familiar with alkanes and today we will come to know that how alkanes will gonna change into alkyl radicals so let's start Alkyl radicals. Alkyl radicals are derivatives of alkanes. The word derivative is super important. It means that alkyl radicals are derived from alkanes. So the basic or we can say that the base of the alkyl radicals are alkanes. But there will be some change take place in alkanes to make alkyl radicals and here comes the point formation of alkyl radicals they are formed by the removal of one of the hydrogen atoms of an alkane so whenever one hydrogen atom will be removed from alkanes it will gonna be changed into alkyl radicals Representation of alkyl radicals. They are represented by letter R. How can we name alkyl radicals? Their name is written by replacing N of alkane with "-ile". Ending of alkane will gonna replace with the word "-ile". General formula for alkyl radicals is Cn H2n plus 1 and it's little bit different from alkenes which is Cn H2n plus 2 and definitely as one hydrogen is removed so formula will also changed. Here are examples of alkyl radicals. In this case we all know that if we talk about alkanes it will gonna be methane, ethane, propane, butane and so on. Now the molecular formula for methane is CH4. How it gonna be changed into alkyl radical? When one hydrogen is removed it will change into CH3 and which will be termed as methyl now it's methyl not methane so here you can see that N of alkane is replaced by aile in case of alkyl radicals in the second example ethane now the general formula for ethane or the molecular formula is C2H6 again if I removed one hydrogen, it will gonna change into C2H5 and now it will be named as ethyl. Don't you think that after removing hydrogen, what will gonna attached with alkyl radicals? Yes, it can attach any of an element or any of the substance with it to form a new compound so it's quite innovative propane carbon 3 compound its molecular formula is C3H8 when I removed one hydrogen from it it will gonna change into C3H7 again it will be named as propyl and then if I move toward non N, it means carbon 9, C9, H20. While if I removed one hydrogen, it will change into C9, H19. So it will be known as no 9. So here is a full chain available for you. And please memorize it. It's very important from your exams point of view. 
propyl radicals now you are very familiar with it propyl word comes from propane and propane is 3 carbon compound now in propane the question arises in my mind that whether I have to remove hydrogen from carbon number 1 or from carbon number 2 in propane the side carbons are terminal carbons so both can react or behave in a same way now there are two possibilities whether the hydrogen can be removed from carbon number 1 or from carbon number 2 removal of terminal hydrogen if hydrogen is removed from terminal carbons it gonna be named as N propyl yes and if removal of central hydrogen occurred so what will form yes it will get a branch now here carbon is forming three bonds and we all know that it can form four so this fourth bond is vacant as hydrogen is removed it will be termed as isopropyl so there are two cases one is n-propyl and the other is isopropyl so both are alkyl radicals of propane for more understanding let's discuss butyl radicals the word butyl comes from four carbon compound that is butane now when hydrogen is removed from the terminal carbons from carbon number one or to carbon number four that will be known as terminal carbons so when removal of terminal hydrogen takes place it will be known as and butyl and what will happen if hydrogen is removed from the central carbons yes removal of central hydrogen like this now in, with this carbon one hydrogen is present and one is removed and it will be named as secondary butyl so now name is changed just by changing the carbon let's take one more example of butyl radical so here what is this this is propane but we are talking about butane so here we have to add the branch now this is four carbon compound but the fourth carbon is present in the branch form at carbon number 2 so it will gonna be named as isobutane there are two possibilities if removal of terminal hydrogen takes place like this so it will be named as isobutyl and if removal of central hydrogen takes place what gonna be formed now methyl groups are attached on the side of the carbon so it can be named as as this carbon is branched from all sides it can be named as tertiary butyl so when three other carbons are branched with the central carbon it will be known as tertiary butyl and when carbon number 2 will get a branch on any parent chain of hydrocarbons it will be termed with iso so in this way we go through alkyl radicals thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day